All right, guys. Uh, here's the uh, Garmin GPS unit I got from uh, Garmin, of course. Uh, it's the Oregon 550T. They have different um, models. The 550 uh, is just a plain Jane unit. The 550T I think stands for Trails. It has topo maps and everything included. Uh, inside the box, you get a, a Garmin battery charger. It charges two double A's at a time. It's pretty cool. I already had my own battery charger though. I'm using uh, nickel metal hydrate batteries. Um, get a bunch of little goodies here, uh, manuals, a CD, I haven't even installed any of this or looked at it, but uh, it's got kinds of manuals and stuff there. Let's see what else. I did order a 4 gigabyte micro SD card, um, which came with this little guy right here. Uh, you basically stick your, your micro SD card in this little section in the back and then you can use this as a regular SD card. This is just the adapter part. Now, on to the Garmin. This comes with a uh, carabiner clip. Uh, it's pretty cool. It, it's worked. Uh, I took on a little hike this morning, about a mile, mile and a half. Yeah, about a mile, and uh, worked out real good. You can just uh, you can unclip this thing. It comes you gotta kind of lift up and then it comes off. On the back, you get this little uh, clip deal right here. You have your two batteries, and then you've got um, your micro SD card under that. This has a camera built into it, 3.2 megapixel, and. Uh, Basically, that just slides on. Whoop. Let's see. And it clips in place like that. Uh, turn on, you got a little button here on the side. Took me a few minutes to figure out how to use this thing. It was real tricky, but uh, definitely uh, something you need to read the instructions on. Got the uh, brightness kicked up all the way, so you can see. Um, basically, down right down here, you've got the satellite signal. I'm getting four out of five bars for the satellite. Um, over that, you have the battery level. If I touch that, this is all touch touch screen type of thing. If I touch it, it brings up the satellites. Which satellites I'm getting? Um, the accuracy way up there in the right hand corner. It normally gets down to about two or three feet. I mean, it's really accurate. Gives you uh, the GPS coordinates where I am. Uh, stuff like that. And then over here on the right side, it's got the elevation. Uh, I'll take a few minutes to calibrate and get its uh, do its thing. Uh, the compass is, uh, I'll start with this one here, where to? Say you want to go somewhere. Well, where do you want to go? You can go to a previous uh, waypoint. You can go to a, uh, a recent find, which would be a geocache. You can go to a photo. You can go to tracks. You, you can, uh, as you're hiking, you can save the tracks. You can go to coordinates. Really easy to type in. Um, you can go to your POI's point of interest. You can go to cities, tides, geographical points. I guess uh, lighthouses, stuff like that. I'm gonna click on the photos. I'm click. I'm gonna touch on the photos. And right now I've got two photos. I've got one at my in-laws' house. I took a picture of, and one outside of my house. It tells me the distance. Uh, I'm 69 feet from my house, where I took the picture from, and 1.47 miles from my in-laws' house. Uh, it tells you the degrees and all that stuff. So say I want to go to my in-laws house. I basically just touch it. It brings up this little map here. Uh, press the go. And that's it. it. Draws you a pink line which way you need to go. You can zoom out, zoom in. And uh, pretty cool. You can turn that off. Now you're still going to say my in-laws house. Well, I want to bring the compass up. It's going to show me an arrow in the direction I need to go. As you can see, that works out pretty good. Um, on the compass screen, you get, uh, I've got my sun set in 4 hours, 13 minutes. I've got that set. Elevation, 602 feet. That's, like I said, still calibrating. So um, I've also got my uh, numbers on my compass. I like to have those. So back to the main screen. You get your trip odometer. You can see, um, uh, you can preset every one of these little things. I want my elevation, my trip odometer, how many feet or miles I've gone, uh, distance to next, which is my uh, in-laws house, 1.47 miles, and if I had another, um, it would also uh, come up and tell me how long it's going to take me to get there and what my arrival time should be. Uh, you've got a moving time, stop time, all that good stuff. I also have the time of day on there too, but you can click this little button right down here. I keep saying click. <laughs> Um, you, you can do all kinds of different, um, all kinds of different um, settings as far as this go. These uh, settings here go. 
You can change them all out, make them different. Uh, mark waypoint. If you're going to go to a, um, say you're hiking and you see something of interest, you want to create a waypoint, you just basically touch it. I mean, and that's it. You can save it. I would do a save and edit. This way you can edit the name of it as well. Um, right now we're not going to do that. <clears throat> Trip computer. That's what we just went to. Uh, the where I go. That's a, it has like a little games on it. It's kind of cool. You know, it tells you to go so many feet this way and, um, just like, I haven't really messed around with it very much, but it's got a little game thing on there you can play. Um, the camera is, like I said, you got, you've got you got to set it so it's 3.2 megapixels. Um, but there it is, just my hiking pack and stuff. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Um, and basically, you just hold the camera button down and it clicks. I'm not going to take a picture, though. Um, and then after you take the pictures, you can go to the photo viewer, and you can see I've got... My house and my in-laws house up there you can navigate to them or just view the pictures if you want uh, the cool thing about this is when you turn it the picture turns as well so well, that's pretty neat it only takes a second the uh, response time on this thing is incredible i mean it, it's really fast uh, the next thing is uh we'll do the 3d view and uh, you can see like the elevations and it, it's basically just a 3d map um, I want to turn, kind of go this way a little bit. I can. I want to zoom in. I can. But uh, it, it shows everything in 3D, which it can really come in handy. I like that map. That's pretty sweet. Um, then geocaches. A lot of people like to go out and find geocaches. Uh, once you uh, you can hook this right into your computer. You can go to geocaching.com. Uh, you have to download a little plugin. It, it tells you what uh, if you have a Garmin, if you have a Delorme, or what kind of GPS you have. Download the software. Um, basically, I use Google Maps, you, which is also incorporated with um, or integrated, I should say, with um, the uh, GPS software and the geocaching website. It makes it really easy. You just do a right click and send, and send to your device, and then I click right because if you got to, you've got to write the file to this GPS. Um, because I've, I've got the SD card in there. Uh, your elevation plot shows you know, how many feet you, uh, your total ascent. In other words, how far you've gone up, and you can uh, zoom in and out and all that good stuff. I'm not sure if it's that way. No, it's one of these ways. Oops. Yeah, I mean you can, you can go and you can change all these different settings around to uh, your vertical speed. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in this thing. But it shows a little bar graph of your, uh, you know, your elevation. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to page over. Waypoint manager. I can go and edit my waypoints if I wanted to. Uh, kind of rename them, stuff like that. Route planner. Um, you basically create a route. If you want to go to several waypoints, you can do that. Uh, track manager. You can turn on or off. Um, I don't think I've got mine turned on right now. But anyway, when you're walking or hiking... Um, it'll show like a little line, you know, kind of like exactly the path you took. So say you're in a, mount, a mountain, right, and you're hiking, and uh, you're not sure how, if it's going to be snowing when you come on the way back, or, or if the trail's going to be covered, or what. Um, I would definitely turn the tracks on going up. Um, this way you've got something to go by on the way back, because if you're on a, say, a three-foot narrow side of a cliff, um, you know, you definitely don't want to fall off the edge. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, you can change the profile on this thing too. Uh, I've got set, uh, set for recreational. You can set it for geocaching, automotive, marine, um, just all kinds of stuff. And basically, it just changes the background, and it caters more towards uh, what you select. Um, active route. I don't think I've got a route set. No, I sure don't. Um, but it would, it would keep track of your route and everything. You can share your uh, your. Uh, what was I going to say? You can share your um, pictures, your routes, all kinds of stuff through the share wirelessly um, little tab right there. So that that's cool. So I, it's got to be a uh, I think a Colorado or an Oregon Oregon uh, uh, Garmin GPS, and they got to be within like ten or twelve feet. Uh, this thing's got a calendar. It's got a calendar. Um, that's got little arrows on the bottom and everything, but it tells you the date. You know, that's what a calendar does. Sun and moon. Um, you get your calendar there, but you get your um, uh, sunrise, sunset, moonrise, and moonset. 
all that good stuff. You can change the date and you can see, um, you know, everything's changing. Um, has a calculator built in. And uh, so that's pretty cool too. I've tried that out. Hunting and fishing basically gives you the uh, best time to fish. Um, you know, good times and best times. Alarm clock. I tried the alarm clock out last night and uh, I didn't find it to be very loud. I'm a light sleeper, so it would probably wake me up. Um, but it, yeah, it could definitely be louder. I don't know if maybe Garmin will come out with a, um, a uh, firmware update for that. Um, on the next page, we have a stopwatch. You can basically start it. So you just completed the lap, but you want to keep going and count the time. Well, lap one, it says right here, you just did one lap in five seconds, 5.38 seconds. Here goes another lap. Poof. Oops. There we go. Exactly 10 seconds. So anyway, and then you can do a stop, and it shows you overall time and all that good stuff. And of course, reset. So that's a pretty cool little thing if you're into fitness and run laps and all that. The man overboard, I'm not sure exactly what that is. I haven't even clicked on it or tried it. Um, it has something to do with marking a, a waypoint. Um, waypoint averaging. Um, I, I think that what that does is it keeps track of all your um, your uh, waypoints and everything. You can just basically click on one and, and, and go to it. Um, so, Rocky Top, Tennessee is 209.7 miles away. <laughs> Wow, and there's also a big change in elevation too. But uh, sight and go—that's a pretty cool little feature. Say I want to go. Say I want to go right there. I'm gonna lock the direction. There's a little lock direction thing I can tab. I can hit, and poof. So now I can just hit set course. And now the little blue arrow on my compass is telling me the way I should be going, and it tells me that hey, that's the direction you need to go. <laughs> if I wanted to do that. Um, like I said, it's it's a really nice GPS. Um, like I said, I went on a short hike this morning and uh, kind of messed around with it a little bit. Um, I, I've seen guys put this thing in like a glass of water, which I'm not going to do, uh, only because it's brand new and I don't want to have to send it back. <laughs> so uh, they they say it's got that um, oh what was the exact nomenclature? Anyway, it was a look. It, they they kind of base it on a six or a seven for most GPSs, and this is a seven being the best meaning it can be submerged into water uh, I think for up to 30 minutes maybe three meters nine feet something like that um, the setup button I didn't go over it yet basically you can click your um, you've got all kinds of system display map uh, tracks you can reset your trip settings so if I just started a new hike I want to go to reset uh, I want to reset my trip data right here yes I'm sure and everything at, back at the um, let me go back here to my other trip computer. Shall be set to zero. Yeah, max speed, trip odometer, zero feet, moving average zero. So I think I'm still, um, uh, where am I at? Where to? Stop. Yeah, I'm still going to uh, my in law's house there according to the GPS. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Um, so basically, it, it, I've got the time of day, all that good stuff set on here. And like I said, you can customize all of this stuff. Uh, it's real. It's it's. I wouldn't say it's real sensitive, but when you tap the screen, um, it, you know it'll go. Uh, let's see. We got tracks. This is back at the. Um, cal you can set your units if you want to do to meters instead of uh, feet, or you can do yards, uh, kilometers instead of miles, uh, things like that. Um, your time you can set. You can set for uh, military time, all that good stuff. Geocaches, altimeter. When you do the altimeter, you can go right down here to begin the calibration. You can set the barometer, the pressure, uh, the auto calibration, all that good stuff. Oop, trying to keep this thing focused and talk at the same time. The fitness part right here, it keeps track of your uh, heart, your heart rate monitor.